Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Ugly here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 build video. Today I'm going to be showcasing a hollow build, and I know hollow builds are very unpopular ever since the nerf of Karthus Rouge. The main point of a hollow build was to have a higher AR than a quality build because all the weapons will, while being able to have a high bleed rate. But since they nerfed Karthus Rouge, no one's been really running hollow builds, and I'm trying to I'm gonna try and bring it back for you guys. So I'm gonna do a couple tests here. I have a hollow Onikiri and Ubidachi, which gets an AR of 441. Compared to its refined counterpart, it actually has almost 60 more AR, so it's much better. It's worth the 40 luck investment. Um, I also have a blood-infused Onikiri and Ubidachi, which has 130 less AR roughly, but has a higher bleed rate. So if you're able to proc the bleed often with this, well if I am, I may I may say go with the Blood Infusion, but I'm gonna guess that the Hollow Onikiri is better just based on its higher AR and the fact that you're able to buff it. 71 isn't really a high bleed rate, so most likely, unless you're super aggressive and the opponent isn't able to roll the bleed, you're not really gonna get it off. Um, so most of the time I'm gonna run the Hollow one, but I'm gonna do some tests for you guys. I'm also using the Pontus Red Eye because you actually do get the boost attack if you happen to land a few L1s. Um, so it's kind of worth it. I had no idea what else to use in my fourth ring slot anyway. Got my prisoner's chain for my free 15 levels. Got my ring of favor plus three because it's kind of a staple ring for me. And life ring plus three, honestly. Um, I didn't really know what to put for my ring, so I just put my staples. Um, I have human pine resin as a buff, which when applied to the weapon that I'm using right now, the hollow one, it boosts my AR up to 536. Which is a nice boost, and you're able to connect two L1s consecutively, so that's going to do around 800 damage. You're also able to use its awesome ninja weapon art to at least one L1. You may catch some people with the second one, but it doesn't happen often. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do these tests for you guys and see which weapon is more viable. But in my opinion, the hollow one is going to be the one you're going to go for. Uh, I also forgot to mention, my luck is actually 30. If you have a fully upgraded weapon that is hollow, it gives you five extra luck. So having a hollow Onikiri and a hollow Cestus on gives me higher luck. So that's why it's 40. Alright guys, jumping into our first match, gonna make sure we add our buff to get our AR way up there. 536 for dual wielding weapons is pretty sweet. Oh, let's see, this guy's got lightning blade versus my my personally made Onikiri build. Wow, I didn't connect those fast enough. Oh, Jesse looks like he's going down. Jesse, you're going down, big boy. Alright, so in battle 2, we're going to be using Karthus Rouge, see if we can proc the bleed. If we can, and there's a, it's better, I find, then I'll maybe use this as the main aspect of the build. I mean, this guy's just being strange. Oh, I could have connected to L1. Oh, I did. Alright, that's some pretty decent damage. He might have died had I not been using Karthus Rouge, because that did not proc the bleed. See, I did the weapon art, two L1s afterwards, and he still didn't bleed. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and say that using Cardless Rouge with the Hollow Infusion is not the best. Alright, now the final test using the Blood Infused Onikiri and Ubidachi. We'll see. Their AR is 130 less. So, hey, it's the same dude. This will be a good test. The weapon art did 1,000 and something when I connected the two L1s afterwards, yet, or on the last battle. So... I can do that again, and we can just compare. See, okay, well you can roll out of that webinar, so last time he was just being kind of foolish. But I still haven't proc the bleed on him yet, and I've hit him like seven times. Yeah, even with a bleed rate of 71, still not the best. I'd say you're better off going with just buffing them and doing raw damage from the hollow infusion. Oh, I didn't even have my hand on the controller. I had to walk by that. This guy is all about the rush. Doesn't even give his opponent a chance. Damn, son. All right, that's how you want to play? Let's go. You're facing the blades of blood. Although that doesn't make sense anymore because I keep buffing them with everything but Karthus Rouge. Ooh, that's some nice damage, man. I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> God, get pointed down at son. What now? What shall befall me? 
Dragon Slayer Spear? Alright, I'm ready for spears. Spears don't- I don't fear the spear with this build. Which is unusual for Chase. I always fear the spear. Oh, I was hoping I'd just get him with one of those attacks. I didn't need much. You can't parry the weapon art, big boy. It's the face of regret. Should have guessed that I was gonna do my ninja jump attack. If I fight Bulal one more time, so help me God. I just want to finish him a different way this time. But I keep getting the instant. The weapon art is just easy to get on this guy. Oh, Bulal. Oh, Bulal. Almost bringing it back. Damn. Oh, this is a new dude. Got some more fresh meat up in here. With Gale's Greatsword, he's looking for that true combo. Alright, combo weapon v combo weapon. Which one's gonna outdo? The one with the poise? Or the one that changes to the spear? I knew he was gonna go for the poke tag right after that. It's just something that everybody with a spear does. They back away, then they go for the initial light attack. You're too predictable, son. Now it's the, the cancer of the weapon art. It actually gives you amazing hyper armor. Once you're in the air jumping, only like an ultra's heavy or, or something along those lines is going to stop you. No light attacks really will. This map be popular as hell today. Alright, what are we fighting? What are we fighting? Oh god, of course. Uh... Don't tell me it's a bow build using the obscuring rings. Aha! What? What? Where? Okay. Why were you not? Why were you not in your position, Val? All right, weapon art versus weapon art. I don't even bother going for the second L1 anymore because I know it doesn't connect. So, no purpose really. Goodbye, Val. You were weird. You, were, you had my weapons on your side. You should have used them. It's the stairway to heaven. You're right on cue. Ichama. Alright, interesting uh, fashion you got there, man. Always with the demon axe and the pyromancies. That's a buzz kill when one of the L1 attacks misses. I know the short blade is bad for that. You have to be right up on their feet to do it correctly. Which can be tough. Oh wow, I went to trade with the heavy, but you know what? His outdid mine. Can I get him? Yes, the knee! I got him with the knee. The knee, where's, where's my knee? I'm trying to show you guys my knee. Yeah, that knee right there. That won us the battle. Apply our buff of the dark moon. JK, I wish I had Dark Moon Blade on this build, but I couldn't afford the 60 faith. What is this? Oh, oh god. Donald Trump. No, homie, no. Why you got a dagger? Why is that the Donald Trump weapon? What of all weapons made that? Oh my god. Cancer. I knew it. I knew you'd go for it. You're Donald Trump. Get out of here. You are cancer. Oops, no, 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 no. DJ Trump gets a point down. All right, my dudes, that's all the battles that I have for you today. Uh, we have a clear winner, in my opinion. The hollow Onikiri and Ubudachi is much better than the blood-infused one. It has a 130 higher AR. It gives you five extra luck just for wielding it. And you can buff it. So it's kind of a no-brainer for me. Not to mention that people can roll the bleed proc. So that thing is not always your best friend. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video. I really enjoyed using an old build. And no one really runs these. And you know what? It works pretty well still. If you're good with this weapon in general, then you're going to want to main a hollow build. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Subscribe for more Dark Souls 3 content. I upload daily. And I also forgot to mention, make sure you're as hollow as you can be. I should have said that at the beginning, but my hollowing is 99. It ups the damage rate of the weapon, so yeah. 
I'll see you around, my bros. Chase the ninja out.